Who's the greatest showman of the 20th century? Michael Jackson? Harry Houdini? Or maybe you're partial to Ted Danson? These are all fine choices, but I would go in a different direction. I nominate someone who transformed the flashy fisticuffs of professional wrestling into an art form. Randy Savage. Savage is motivated like never before. His gruff, stilted speech and deliberate mannerisms enthrall me just as much today as they did so many years ago. You don't know anything about the Macho Man, Randy Savage, and where I'm coming from. The Macho Man was a theatrical genius and the embodiment of everything that makes professional wrestling so compelling. When the wrestlers of my youth faded into the sunset, so too did my interest in the WWE. But the nostalgic flame of yesteryear still burns inside me. All those old feelings were rekindled in WWE 2K14. There's a mode called 30 Years of WrestleMania that, oddly enough, focuses on the history of wrestling Super Bowl. And I got a warm glow on my chest when I replayed some of those classic matches. Remember when the Ultimate Warrior and Hulk Hogan exchanged clotheslines in the center of the ring? Or Andre the Giant callously tossed $100 bills after triumphing over Big John Scud? WWE 2K14 celebration of its prestigious history is incredibly well done. We expect entrance themes and costumes to be ripped from the archives, but the game goes even further than that. When you meet specific requirements such as initiating a grapple or performing your finisher, brief cutscenes play out that mirror what happened in real life. These scenarios are so expertly crafted that they drew me in even if I had forgotten the event. WWE 2K14 communicates the dramatic punishment of professional wrestling remarkably well. Every hit has serious impact, so much so that you wonder how someone could possibly survive some of these moves. And yet, even though 2K14 expertly recreates much of what makes professional wrestling so entertaining, it stumbles in key areas. The core action is so reliant on counterattacks that it's closer to a sequence of quick time events than a body slam ballet. After watching wrestlers go through the motion, tossing each other off ropes and utilizing submission holds, I long for the fluid choreography of the real thing. Absent WrestleMania's finest moments, the matches are dry, predictable affairs that do little to spark the imagination. Such issues cut even deeper when more than two men enter the ring. The utter chaos of multi-men bouts never comes close to being captured in WWE 2K14. What should be satisfyingly crazy is really just a series of clunky one-on-one -on -one battles with no one quite sure what's expected of him. Stick traditional fights in 2K14 unless you want to see just how limited the combat truly is. 2K14 thrusts The Undertaker to the forefront in a celebration of his undefeated streak in WrestleMania, and trying to knock him from his lofty perch has a certain appeal, as does fending off everyone clamoring for the throne. But the reason WWE 2K14 does work is its love of history. For anyone who grew up loving professional wrestling, be prepared to be swept away in a tide of nostalgia. If only the core action could have been as compelling. What a the heat of impact.